Are you, are you okay? Uh, uh, I've switched the camera on the... Okay, why the hell is it not tracking my mouse? Uh, okay, I, I switched the camera that uh, VC Face is using to my old one, which I've put on top of my monitor. Uh, though there, there isn't enough space up there to put my current one, and plus it'd be a, a, a pain in the ass to get it moving, but it doesn't seem to be recording my mo mouse movements all that much. So that is one big flaw against it already. Um, I could swap it back. Should I do that then? Yes. Uh, maybe next time. Okay, yeah, just let, let the entirety of this stream be a test for that, though that is already one big fail. Yeah, uh, and we do. If you start to finger it now, it might go south. True. Uh, beyond that, I've moved around the <clears throat> the game footage a bit in the uh, win in the window, which isn't which isn't an accurate sixteen by nine uh, sized box. So it was either yeah, I think stretching it to fill uh, fit in entirely, uh, have some. Uh, some of the screen be missing behind the overlay or just have it floating like this with small borders around the place and well i've decided to go on with that all right what the okay but for now uh, if we've kept last time we ran into and captured greed the little, little trash goblin that that was and we were looking for the next. Yep, we, we we're in, now we're oh, we're over here where so apparently the angels have made an outpost uh, to get some answers on what the hell happened to Rampage, which yeah, is Fury's I wonder, Wars. Yeah, I wonder. Did they really do that, or were they set up like did a demon steal the spears and do that for? Let's face it. It's not impossible for someone to steal someone else's weapon. True. In fact, it was a lot in common in almost all wars. And the angels shouldn't have any... War. The angels shouldn't have any beef with Fury herself, so why the hell would they go after her, after her horse? Then again, Indeed. I get the feeling who... If it is the angels, then I get the feeling who it might be. Who has a very big chip on her shoulder against war, at the very least. And yeah, yeah, no, if she can't it get might not war... be her. No, remember, mm. she had beef for war, but when she met death, she was just fine. Also, in part, possibly because while well, they were in the middle of a fight at the moment. But yeah, I, yeah, just speculation. Yeah, and she said she only had a beef with war, and not uh, him. So she may not have a beef with the Fury either. So am I the only one who is somewhat reminded of Raziel from Soul Reaver by these enemies? You know what? I see what you mean. They it's, it's mostly the wings. <laughs> yeah, and slightly the body type, but they're very obviously very different, but I can say why. Hmm. Um, I have some uh, slight similarity. It, no, but the, oh, can on. we just say, what was that sound? Just as I look away, you know, I said up that the stupid bot that I made a comment on on the, the on the the Discord, yeah, it just popped up in a notification that we've gone live. Yeah, this one tells me that the uh, bot of yours is worthless. It's gonna be yeah. so slow. Yeah. No, it, it's almost. It was almost ten minutes late. Uh, we could compensate for that by, well, starting the streams even earlier, but... Hmm, yeah, let, let's not. I'll, I'll, I'll probably disable it for a while or see if I can tweak it to be more responsive. Hmm. Oh, well. That's another thing for later, and... Okay, for a moment I thought I heard something whiz by <laughs> Yuri's head. Uh, one of these again. <laughs> Don't it's... eat it. Yeah, I prefer my mushrooms raw, yes, but not this raw. <laughs> Somebody tells me you would love to come to Sweden. Oh? 
We have many edible mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, the ones I'm built. If I think I remember right, why have you been having maybe global warming many areas here in Sweden? One of the things that do flourish in it is definitely mushrooms. You can make oh, plenty of things out of mushrooms as well. Uh, I, 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 it's been a while since I've snacked on any raw ones, but I believe some uh, the people some people say that raw they have a uh, a, a somewhat meat-like texture, so that could also explain things a bit. Uh, hmm. I, I want to know that the, the mushroom I know I can eat is. Uh, uh, oh gosh, I don't know this way, but uh, the most uses phantom pizza. Okay, just the the common mushroom, the ones the people, uh, uh, the cultivated mushroom. I think I've, yes, so many words. Just the standard white mushroom. Yeah, though they usually don't look white when cooked. <laughs> yeah, they turn brownish. Yeah, do and uh, this is one problem I have with them. One school did. If they own pizza and get properly cooked, they are fine. But one of my dorm schools gave me huge bee meatballs thing. I don't know what they were called, some kind of beef. Just means being in a big ball. And they put huge chunks of them, almost whole, inside of them. And, and yeah, they were not properly cooked at all every time. Uh. This made me, my body react Probably the only time my body had react very hostile. I don't mean allergic react. I mean like it it punches me from inside as it wants to puke it out. Do not want, do not want, eject, eject. Yeah, yeah basically that. I didn't puke each time. I avoided puking each time, luckily enough, but it was just that big push. I was, oh, what the heck is. Oh, what the. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just spit out whatever there was, and it was just then. I've never seen that mushroom be so long. I don't know what they've done with them, but putting them inside a huge beef meatball that's bigger than my fist, and you just think they're gonna cook like that? No. And yeah, okay, someone yeah. agrees with me that it's horrible. <laughs> oh, that she is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. If you're gonna cook mushrooms, even the edible one, especially the edible one, says, you should, yeah, make sure it's the <laughs> edible you're about to eat. Obviously, yeah, do not go for the classical uh, red cap with white tip, yeah, with white uh, dots, <laughs> mushroom, because I'm pretty sure that one's poisonous as all fuck. Yeah, and fun fact, it does. It the circus did not eat them. It will not help the circus at all. But yeah, 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 even edible mushrooms, if it, like this is probably the case of if you don't cook the a, edible mushroom properly, your body will react by trying to hurl it out. Yeah, there are ways to acc um, acclimatize that. That's not the correct word, but uh, it's a, cl a close one uh, to get your body used to poisons like that in, s in a small amounts, but not in a whole ass mushroom. And there's actually a funny thing about that. I think it was one of the Roman emperors, uh, number who gives a fuck at this point, because there's just so freaking many, there's, we're so freaking many of them. Well, um, I'm not sure if it was a Roman or not, but either way, it was a king, emperor, yada yada, something like that, uh, who was so paranoid about getting poisoned that he... Yeah, that he uh, da he daily took in a bit of poison to try uh, and get immunity to poison. And the funny thing is, uh, eventually he had to flee. Yeah, he eventually he was deposed or something. And where did the bug go? Not there. And yeah, in an attempt to not get captured, take a guess what he took. Poison. Yep. And take a guess what he had grown immune to, as he wanted. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I think I heard that sort of before, except the final finale. And I think that was a Roman. Uh, a good case of be careful what you wish for, eh? Yeah. What the heck? 
Oh god, just, mm. just remember the mushroom, like, if you spawn a pizza, then it's properly cooked. But when it was inside a beef and it was basically boiled, with all the meat fat and all that, it, it tasted horrible and felt horrible. It did not taste like mushroom at all. It, I don't know what... Snail or something? No, 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 actually no. Snail taste was more pleasant than that. And that's saying something. <laughs> it's something that I plan on never ever even trying. <laughs> Just out of sheer nope. <sighs> Too late. You already have. And actually, Escorgo is fine. Just golly bother. Like, it doesn't taste much. It doesn't taste, feel bad to eat. You just, you just feel like, yeah, Gullbother is the only thing uh, helping here. <laughs> Otherwise, you've just been, uh, probably just be bland as heck. Just eating and I go, yeah, I can eat this in survival. But yeah, if if you're going to tell me to eat, choose between escargot and pizza, pizza every time. I will eat escargot we... if someone offers me it. I think we've talked about this before at some point. Yeah, um, several times. Yeah, this, that snail uh, snails started as a, a poor man's meal during the French Revolution, I think. And over time, yes. it just became the rich jackass's meal. Because why not? <laughs> because no, the, people really no, did have nothing else to eat. I think even the rich was the one that popularized the... Uh, Fried sheep ladders and such. Sounds like it, because cheese wasn't too cheap back then. Isn't even these days either. Yeah. No. Actually, we have food. Fun fact. Uh, you ever heard of haggis? Who, uh, who under the age of 10 have, has not heard of haggis <laughs> at yeah, one point in their life? Have you heard of the story behind its name? Uh, no. Fun fact, it's named after a mythical animal. Okay, that is unexpected. Also, yeah, how do it, we it, get this? Here's the thing. It was basically a round ball. If I remember, it was described as... Like, some people will have in more they described that looking like, probably like a... beach ball shaved uh, guinea pig. <laughs> and they were so tasty in Easter time that if they found them, they just... Found them rolling down hills, killed them, and cooked them whole. And ate them like that. Organs and all, just because they were so tasty. But in the story, they did hunt them into extinction. Due to how easy they were to hunt. Sounds a bit like a... <laughs> a Scottish version of the dodo. Yeah. Do, do like the dodo, at least this one tasted better. The dodo, they ate because they were so easy to eat, but it wasn't tasty. But yeah, do they the hunt to the extinction? They then they, if I remember right, the story resulted into inventing the dish haggis for the closest thing they got to the taste. I, I hope I remember the story right. There we go. But Just still, a bit quicker. Just to learn that haggis is named of the mythical animal, and it has yeah. the entire mythology behind it. Just <laughs> yeah. And here I was thinking that we're actually hiding some uh, where we had to go to because we obviously have to cross that big ass chasm outside. Question is where do we get over it? True. Um but yeah, from the sounds of it I might be better off just eating plain all the breads with garlic butter instead of just adding in the expensive ass snails. Yeah, no again. I think I will, I will eat edible snails with garlic in a survival situation, or at least it is some sheep to make. Or, well, okay, maybe a sheep, provided you know which snail you can eat. I don't recommend to, again, just with mushrooms, no, double check what you're about to eat. Yeah. Uh, For the other and probably many animals that are edible only if you cook them right. The yeah, pufferfish, I believe, is one of those. Uh, if they are 
aren't prepared correctly, they are poisonous, I believe. Yeah, especially if they cut... That's more of if you cut it wrong than cook it wrong. Like, you, mm. if you don't cut it in the right spot, you have the poison. But mm. that's the problem. I, I, that one is the one whose dish I feel like, don't serve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you accidentally hitting uh, the, a poison gland or something like that. Or... Yeah, it, it's actually the same with uh, scorpion tail. For apparently, the best meat on scorpion is near the poison sack. Yeah, of course. And the, <laughs> however, the pen on scorpion is made depending. So yeah, like some scorpion, you I think you can eat the tail just fine. Even with the poison, provided you don't have it, like mouth sore or something. Like you have been bleeding your mouth from something, don't eat it. Basically, no easy way for the poison to get into your bloodstream. Exactly. Do right. again. Speak with professionals. Yeah. Do not try this at home. Yeah, and if you want to eat the scorpion in the safest side, the probably more. Most feelings, and just don't eat the poison, just eat the rest of it. Yeah. Probably more the safer way to do it. <coughs> okay, I'm drawing a complete blank on where we need to go here. Yeah, wait. wait. Look up. A actually, uh, there's something even... behind you. We... Okay, look at the building wall. Uh, at uh, the other wall. And up. What mark is that? On the banners? I th it's no clue. Uh, I, I, I almost forgot about this form and maybe we can get enough height from that balcony up there to Ooh. float across. I think you might be onto something there, yeah. I'd, I'd sort of forgotten we had this form already. Yeah, and, and also, I'm still curious over still uh, what what just happened. War, war, ra yeah, war, I mean, I mean rampage. Like, yes, we see he was impaled by spears, but who did it? Yeah, I, it's just, it's a case that comes up in a lot of uh, crime shows and such that uh, your gun was used to kill the victim. Uh, my gun was stolen five weeks ago, that sort of thing. Just because someone is the owner of something doesn't mean that they actually did it. Yeah, and, and here's the problem. It could sound like a cheap excuse, but probably is... Oh. If it was stolen, then it's, there's a... It's always a good idea to check if it was stolen or not. For... That's a 50-50 situation. Either they're lying or they are truthful. And it's one of those you don't ignore. Yeah, well, that was my that was the most easy solution ever that I completely. S <laughs> there, there. Hardly Wait, are you sure? Yes. The outpost I was expecting. When we go in, we're going in. Keep your mouth shut for a change. As oh. if you hold the shoulder button, you can go back to normal. All right, and. Is she actually going to talk to them? Uh, All right. Probably more a lot of screaming at them, if there are any sort of actual survivors here. Yeah, do I expected her to go berserk full out, but again, she seems to be suspicious of betrayal already. They don't look happy to see us. They shouldn't be. Hordes of Heaven, you know who I am, what I am. If you would see the sun set this day, you will feel the burn of heaven's blade. Good. I hate <laughs> Okay, that was well poorly expected. Did they not fire? Well, okay, that one did fire. I uh, will. Really? Okay. Even if it was not the angels that killed him, which we still don't know. The angel, some of the angel souls have the problem of being a bit, oh. um, too zealous. And we have a bit of an extra audience today because Ink just forced her way into the. What are you doing there? Yep, off, uh, off, off freaking course. <laughs>
<laughs> what uh, you do? I don't think that's audible on the microphone. But uh, I, I have a few... Bu oh, that was a big <clears throat> jolt. Uh, I have two boxes right next to my desk for plastic and paper. And, well, cats plus box, you can guess. If she fits, she sits. Okay, I'm taking a photo of this. <laughs> what you do? Of course you do. <laughs> it's been a while actually since he came into the room to sit in the box. Oh, and now box already lost interest. Okay. Cat on their desk. You want your foot rubs? For some reason ink you know, for some reason ink loves to get uh, uh, rubbed by, by people's feet. Yeah, a cat with the foot fetish. Uh, oh come um, on! <laughs> you making that you against your own on your own cat? But she's the one Alien. that wants it. <laughs> it's like she she deliberately goes sit under my desk <laughs> so I can uh, <laughs> so I can massage her with my feet. Might be case of she knows you're playing, but she knows you can use your feet. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> foolish. She figured out that that's how you can multitask. And she's left the room again. Oh, that was... Yeah, let's just use this. You're actually a bit of a tough <laughs> you bastard. And uh, yeah, has left the room, and of course he's neglected to actually close the door. She knows how to? Nope. Your rage is misplaced, Horseman. I sincerely doubt it, Bird. Ocele! Here to finish the job your brother war began. I have no idea what war did or did not do, nor do I care. So, you're here to steal the souls of my fellow angels, then? You think I don't recognize a weapon of the Lord of the Hollows? I serve none but the Council. I hunt the seven deadly sins, at least those who remain. But another task consumes me. Betrayal by your glorious kingdom. <laughs> oh, yes. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and laugh. We can hardly defend ourselves, let alone spare the energy to betray our great horse. My steed, Rampage, was slaughtered by angelic weaponry before I could summon him to Earth. I will know why, and I will have blood. Take me at my word. I have no love for the horseman. Thanks to you, the apocalypse is at hand, and we... Uh, I have no knowledge of any conspiracy against you, or your mission on Earth. Of his kind, Lucille is honorable. Just because he doesn't know doesn't mean it's not happening. As you can see, I have problems of my own. Perhaps we can strike a deal, Horseman. Lately, I have seen my own forces ravaged, losing more and more every day. To my horror, I have learned that my brethren are being murdered by our nightmares made real. Abominations. Undead angels. Demons are also its target, taking them into the realm of the undead as well. And who, in your estimation, is responsible? The only force in the universe capable of such a heretical act is lust. Lust? You're insane. I've crossed paths with lust before. They have no such power. <laughs> and what makes you think that the world as you've known it is the world we're now in? An unnamed demon. It's rumored to have bestowed upon lust the very power to take on the forces of heaven and hell. A spoiler in the apocalypse. Lust transforms angel and demon alike into the undead. Mindless things, bent only on violence and destruction. 
And so if I eliminate lust, thus solving your dilemma, you will in turn provide something for me. Is that the deal you propose? Indeed, if it be in my power. And to prove we mean no ill will towards you, horsemen. May this crossblade serve you well in your crusade against lust. Unchecked, <laughs> their growing strength will doom us all. Find out who tried to kill me. In exchange, I will force lust to reveal the source of their power before I destroy them. <laughs> we have a pact. If I discover you have in any way lied to me, you will wish it was one of my brothers tearing out your heart. Okay, I think that may have been the first time she referred to them as brothers directly. Hmm. Yeah, that, okay, now I am confused. For it was possible before that it could just be death and fear, they being re relative, but now. I'm unsure if they all, all relative is just that will, uh, uh, what the hell would you call a blood seep? No, 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 no. Perhaps your threat will keep him in line. Don't know. Would you trust him? What is he called? I'm not the one that has to. Also, trust isn't part of a watcher's vocabulary. Present company included, of course. Ugh, insufferable ghost. Uh, Battle Brothers or such? Uh, something like that, yeah. Battle Sibling, I guess, would be the term in this case. Hmm. Or it could just be also be a more global thing, like they are all brothers and sisters of Nephilim. That is... Oh, hello, Fury. <laughs> You're looking radiant and flush with blood rage. I have no time for you, demon. No, no, you are a very busy horseman, with people to go and places to slay, I'm sure. Oh, come the fuck on. The driver this updater again. Beneath in your bard-worthy travels, you happened across an artifact, nothing special. An artifact? What does it look like? Well, it's a trinket, really. A novelty crafted by the birds. Sort of a cross with pointy edges and... I may have lied. It's not a trinket. But please, cut me a break. The demon has to eat. I found it. It's mine. I'll pay you a million souls for it. Souls are your currency. Sharp objects are mine. No deal. However, you might be of service to me. Have you seen the undead angels and demons? Ah, the unlife. Sadly, yes. Those who were once beyond mortality deserve better. Now, I have no lost love for the birds, but that's just wrong. That's surprising. Well, then, if you hear anything, do let me know. Does nothing shake you? Do you not feel any empathy? Watching those who once loomed so large robbed of the very force they sought to control. Life. Perhaps after I find out why they're trying to kill me, I'll make time to feel sorry for them. My, my, she's cold. Intoxicating. What a hot-headed demon that is. He says as she's literally being hot-headed with her flaming hair. <laughs> this will be fun for both of us. Okay. Just fill up a bit with that. Anything okay. new? I'm presuming a big no. Nope. As you wish. <clears throat> for now. <laughs> Actually, I wonder, can we use that blade? Uh, yes. There we go. This thing is very similar to the one uh, War found. Yeah, right stick to aim. Left trigger to t you know, tag and right to throw. One, oh. two. Okay. okay, so you basically. Is it. It's sort of like a shotgun, except. 
very different design compared to a shock drum. Yeah, it's basically two sides <laughs> glued together. Get back here, you. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to call it. A Suedo? A shock drum is just basically a short ring. Okay. This, this is most definitely an undead angel. Yeah. Make, it makes me question a bit. What's, which of the enemies before... Some of the angels that we fought also had a greenish glow to them, though not as pronounced as this one. Hmm. Yeah. Could have been that they so were in the, the process. And was it turned. Undead angel... Oh, sorry. One? Yeah, I'm done. Alright, uh, we're saying... We have undead angels and undead demons, which is definitely concerning. Especially when they actually have an NPC confirming that is not normal. Yeah. <laughs> and Volgrim of all people. <clears throat> Pardon? We should take a break to drink some water in a bit. But yeah, now we have another faction thrown into the bunch. We have Heaven, Hell, the Horsemen. And the council, so it is three already. Uh, the seven sins, which makes four. And now we have a fifth uh, party in the game. The unaligned? Hmm. Oh, well, the... we have the Hollow King, or what he, he is called. True. Though, though they, these undead angels and demons do seem to serve lust. So they're probably part of the sin faction. Yeah, but the, the demon that gave Lust the power to uh, create Undead, that is a different... Uh, that's adds another one. Because they're, they're hurting both Heaven and Hell. And in general making everything a compli bigger complication for everyone. So what is their goal? Or could it be Wait. corruption? Corruption or the guy from the ending of the last game that we never saw, but uh, he killed uh, uh, May have killed Lilith? Uh, true, yeah, we... Uh, that we, is we never saw who that was. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's probably a sub-faction amongst the demons. But yeah, they are definitely... Another cog in the machine. Is there a d dark council or something? Hmm. Like, here's the thing. They've been very good to hide the uh, hidden... Uh, like, in the beginning you thought, all right, that it was actually the demons behind it all luring the angels to activate... Uh, to, to pre-activate the whole... Uh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. But now, the <laughs> question is, was it really the demons? For it was... I would thought it was the angel, but was it... Was then the, apparently the demons that did it? Now you... Yeah, now it's a bit unsure. If it's the demons or another faction that has been hidden through all the games so far. True. There's still a lot unknown. Uh, there is... Hmm... There is still one thing with the, the demons, the one behind the destroyer, because we know Abaddon became the destroyer, but some greater demon uh, create turned him into that. Yeah, that's the one I was referring to. The, the faction one who fought was the demon, but might be a hidden faction instead. True, but I'm, I'm guessing it just means that the demons have been smarter with it than the angels ever uh, thought, uh, thought possible but yeah we'll need more evidence before we can make any big claims screw you yeah uh, so far i will applaud uh, but they have been making this this team has been making very good games you know they have been some wonkiness but i really been good is the story and mystery building yeah They've been tipping the veil a bit here and there. So much, uh, Mata, I hope there will be a fifth game that, where you have all, all four. <laughs> yeah. 
for that would be a great finale where we have each character had their own game that if the final fifth one we have all we can play as all four or something yeah this is a good series and i do want to see it continued and stop with the freaking blocking hmm Yeah, I am curious about what the hell is actually going on behind the scenes and such. But we'll see if this game reveals that uh, or not. I believe... Yeah. <laughs> From what we know, the the last Dark Souls game so far, Genesis... Oh, come on, that thing again. Yeah, the last game so far, Genesis, is set before everything else. Like, well, oh, come on. Like, each of the games have been so far. Like, each one taking place in front of all of the others. Yeah, or in front and at the same time. Though, or sort of the same time. However, Genesis is the one that's way before war even... As far as I know, it was way before even war got the... Had, had accent the starter, but... The, yeah, way before the history of Apocalypse. Yeah, he he, did, he didn't start it. He was just framed for it. Yeah, framed for it. But was way before that is the NS. Is it? So it's a true prequel. Okay. It's the the one furthest back of them all. So mm. it makes me wonder: Is they? I just wonder if they will even have clues about it. Wait. Did it sound mm. comes to say? That strife was missing. Uh, at one point, do you mean? It, uh, very early on, when they were talking to her in war. Hmm. Uh, it probably meant more like that he was <coughs> off on his own business. Or yeah, something probably. Like that. I don't know. Yeah, the Roman remember he said if uh, death was missing or strife was missing. We said one of them were away on a mission. But he said, mm. at least one of them were missing. Yeah, they, they, I think they specified that Death was off on his, his own mission, and that's... Which would mean didn't... Strife... That would mean Strife was missing. Then the question is, what happens in Genesis for Strife to go missing? Yeah, I, I very much doubt that might be linked. Uh, since if it does take uh, place that far in before everything else that they probably have a, had a century or three to find him hmm. Hmm. yeah that, that also depends how long ago it was no, yeah, that, it could just be that we're misremembering yeah. what was actually said yeah and we probably learn more when we want to play genesis yep for this does so if if, if his day show host did say strife was missing then that could have an intimacy sort of... Wait. Okay, I doubt the hidden evil is strife. Yeah, I very much doubt that. So, uh, yeah, when we listen to that evil uh, and the other ones, it was, been, it was one woman and one man, and none of them sounded like strife at all. Now, we haven't heard strife so far, but... I, I think I think it was said that uh, Death and Strife were off on their own, th doing their own thing or something. Uh, oh, hello, been a while since we swam. Yeah, no, I'm really sure they said that Strife was missing. I can look that up later. But if Strife um, is missing, then the question is, why is he missing? Did he learn something for from what little I seen of uh, Genesis? Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to say that, for that probably will go uh, into spoiled territory. Yeah, if it's more of a character thing for Strife, like he is uh, insightful or so, you can say that. But uh, nothing specifically of the story, please. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the one that was I'm unsure. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. All right. Uh, okay, I thought it was a beast over there for a moment, but now it's a rock. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm curious how uh, Lost will look in this. If they go <laughs> the, uh, the road that has been traveled a million times before when... <laughs> oh. When uh, depicting a character as, well, the, em the emphasis, or not the emphasis, the embodiment of Lost. Perhaps goes. Oh no, what if they go to see a, a Slanesh route? Yeah, we'll just have to see when we find her. And by that, I mean, sure, Slanesh really take a lot of power from the uh, the most dark, extreme sexual activity. I'm not going to best use the word, but I think that's enough said what they, I mean with that. Ugh. But also. <laughs> Any sort of power loss, like just sensation, greed, sensation on all. So it's not just sexual; it's also like loss for power and such. Yeah, like one. Lost is a part of uh, what Silnash covers, so to speak. Uh, sensation is another one because there's a reason those noise marines are. Mostly from Slanesh, I believe. It, it's the sensation. Noise, oh no. Helian, hmm? I'm pretty sure the Noise Marines is a fan made one. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be. Uh, hmm, I think I remember something of Noise Marines in the, one of the Dawn of War games. I may have to check that out. I'm pretty sure there is no actual space manufacturer that's. Uh, that drives our own with deadly speakers. <laughs> I think you hear what I'm saying here. <laughs> but also, here's another example of Slanesh. Slanesh actually once gave a pyromanic orc a weapon in 40k. That could have uh, gone um, well. It was the most powerful flame flower ever. Uh, he burnt down the entire planet. Uh, of As quick he basically just turned it on. And I think he died, but he was one of the few... It's, it's pretty hard to lure orcs into that, and the... There are cases where orcs have fallen to corn. Though it was very rare case where one orc fell into Slanesh, just for the offer of power of a flamethrower of course he's loved to burn things so much uh, uh... oh great we're you've got a poison kraken what a new nightmare was that now i can't wait to find out i don't think hazard. that mistress i don't think <laughs> <laughs> it was not oh, she's nervous <laughs> right uh, see, i don't think that was a tentacle yep I think there was a tail. Hmm. Oh no. Is it is it a a, a poison crocodile? Yeah, or something it's like an undead leviathan or serpent? Again we'll just have to see. <laughs> nope, another human. Um, yeah, I, I I remember seeing a video at some point about if orcs can fall to chaos, and the biggest I don't remember a flamethrower incident in that, but I do remember a bunch of orcs getting stuck in the war uh, on a planet where yeah they they would constantly be swarmed by demons, and every uh, time they died they would get resurrected, and which. Basically, that's Orc Heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Horde might have been happy about that, but probably a, a bit confused. It, he has, I think, many times tried to corrupt Orcs to have him... Mm -hmm. ...join him. But again, it's rare, for Orcs are very fanatical about the Gork and Mork. Yeah, and also a, probably a bit too dumb to really think of any other gods. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. That just Dude, leads let's it back, see here. I think. Dude, I can say these people. If you think uh, the Chaos Gods in Warhammer Fantasy and Chaos Gods for the K, 
or copy pasted? The answer is no. They have many similarities, but Corny 40k and Corny Fantasy have a lot of differences going on. Like, in Fantasy, Corn despises mages, so they have no spellcasters. And they dislike heavily ranged unit. I think they only warm free, only were forced to give them some artillery. Yeah, but Korn in fantasy to kill is... people up you know, when you can't even get close. Yeah, doing I think the in 40k they are using a lot of guns, so there's I think they have tolerate guns there, but Korn in Fantasy is basically no bows and such. At least if you are a dedicated core knight. Yeah, it makes more sense because there's less slaughter with uh, <clears throat> with bows and arrows. Cannons, I think he might uh, like somewhat. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that it's uh, one of those things. And I think actually the cannon thing is from 40k. Which they probably got the was just told them, use this, use this. It will work fine. For Demons of Chaos list is very limited, so they have to flesh it out somehow. Uh, speaking of uh, Warhammer stuff, uh, I got reminded recently of uh, Dark Tides, which is uh, an upcoming game supposed to release in September. Um, which is basically Vermintide 3, and I, I've been playing Vermintide 2 quite a bunch uh, lately. It's, it's basically left for Warhammer, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I, I, I would play it if it was because it was so big. Uh, let's see, where can we go from here? Or, do, oh. or we just do this. <laughs> Uh, okay. well, yeah, oh yeah, we 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 went we talk, went from talking about lost to Warhammer again. <laughs> uh, it but is yeah, quite I, the I'm... big series, and yeah, it is the first thing you think of mostly when with Lanash and such. Yeah, again, true. What? Yeah, the watch are giving a hint. I guess we can just walk back in. And there we go, opening. Ooh, that's a big nest. Hello. I, I think I actually have a new name for them. Helium Rocket, because that's what he sounds like. I'm first speaking more of Morris. <laughs> but if anyone has seen Shang-Chi, you know who I mean. I've not watched that movie, actually. It's, it's been a while since I've actually seen a uh, Marvel uh, MCU movie, or at least a new one. Uh, yeah, I usually watch them with my dad, since it feels like this is a perfect thing to watch with my dad. And Shang-Chi, definitely recommend. Okay. I was trying to, I was trying to uh, go to the the theater. No, what would be the correct word? I, to the movies with my family to see uh, No Way Home, the, the newest Spider-Man. But yeah, I can't, issues keep popping up, so I'm just probably going to watch it on my own this weekend or something. Yeah, it, you can't watch it on Disney Plus. Yeah, I don't have it's that. It's probably way cheaper. Uh, let's see then. Up here. And another one of these. Okay. And we can use that to get up there, perhaps? That might be a bit high for it. Hmm. In the corner. Okay, I think we can reach that. Yeah, we can. I was going to get worried about the... What was it called? A manger? 
Uh, Mansk or something like that, I think. Yeah, Mansk. Was it? Yes, it was Mansk. I thought I wonder if the Mansk are... <clears throat> Masterist. Hmm. Like, they don't seem to complain about you whipping them. Uh, I get the feeling they're... They might not even feel pain or be, even be sentient enough to notice it. Hmm. It, it could just be basically a plant with a bit of a brain. It almost... Uh, well, almost it looks like a mushroom. Hmm. And I remember right, people have said mushroom is closer to animal than plant. Hmm. Uh, because of the spore stuff and such. Uh, where did the bug yeah. go? Yeah. And, and, and another animal that is counted as an animal is virus. And people say the mushroom is closer to a vi uh, something like an animal and virus. It's still its own thing, though. But they just use them as comparison. True. And I'm pretty sure viruses aren't completely acknowledged as being alive, so to say. It. Hmm. I forget that the specifics of it. That goes back and forth. There seems to be disagreement if it should be counted as alive or not. One year True. they say it's alive, or other year they say it's not. Yeah, technically speaking, at the moment at least, it's the closest thing we have to actual undead stuff. Um. Because it's neither dead nor alive, you know, depending on the cur whatever agreement there is at the moment over it. Yeah, about that. You might, I should say you, but you might be a bit more wrong than you may expect it. Yep. The closest people have to something undead is mushrooms. Okay. For there's a very specific, if you remember that, a type of mushroom that infects a bug. Yeah, uh, those uh, things. Usually, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the uh, the ones the Last of Us is based over, uh, on. Yeah, it's a real it's a real mushroom. Yeah. And it does that to ants. Uh, they it goes into the spores goes into ants' brain. And from that, it tricks it to go somewhere that the ants die. So they, they just get eaten by birds can... and such. Yeah, there's only them, but the mushroom will then grow out of its corpse. Yep. Nasty ass stuff that I would not advise you to Google. Yeah, and actually, I think that they actually did something based on that on the Primeval series. Just, um, basically, someone got infected by a future mushroom, and after a while, he turned into a mushroom monster. That sort of thing is actually reasonably common, I think. We've seen it in Amphibia uh, ourselves. Or, so, or at least something is a bit similar. Yeah. Like, I think... It, I think with mushroom zombies are a bit rarer, but... They are still the least... a bit more unsettling to look at, uh, maybe enough. Yeah. Hmm. Again. All zombies are unsettling, but there's something extra unsettling because a mushroom zombie. Yeah. Hmm. Might we might put The Last of Us on the uh, to-do list eventually. Oh, oh, uh. I think I will skip it. It's so aware of our presence. I have no doubt, especially considering the way you carry on. <laughs> But here's the thing with me in the last, in the last and the last. I tried to watch it. I just couldn't. I got bored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, something about it did not... Uh, uh, yeah, all I was going to say is that we definitely wouldn't be playing the second one because, yeah, the, the controversy around that is, speaks enough for that. Yeah. And the first no. one, the, uh, the, uh, I, I, again, I have tried the first one, and it just didn't work. Okay. Is that the ship Usil sent us for? It would seem. Wait, what the... man? Wait, that, that ship is the name the same as the mushrooms? 
What? Or was it Monsks? It was some yeah, some NSK. Yeah, yeah, they were called Monsk. Uh, okay, I have to say this. I think this is the only game where I have seen Undead Griffins. Yeah, how often Griffins are a thing in pop culture? You'd think you found Undead ones earlier. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, sorry. Sorry, there's one other game I've seen Undead Griffins on. That's the World of War. But that's the only other one. Okay. So there were more skeletal griffins for death knights. These ones are more zombified. Yeah. And now we finally have something to break open those... Yep. Yeah, pine cones, I'll, I'll just call them. <laughs> pine cones? Really? Wait, if those are pine cones... How big are the squirrels? <laughs> you ask of this humble merchant this will be let's fun see we've got a good wish. amount going <laughs> i still have no real interest in the uh, electric armor but let's have a quick little look um that's almost a thousand thirty of these okay 20 okay we have enough with these yeah, we have enough for it with just these. So shall we just get it just to have it then? Storm armor? Yes. I think we may need it since it would... Like, if you face something that's weak against lightning, at least we have a pretty good boost for it. Yeah. Uh, unfocused rage. We need, to, we need to check out what that other thing was that we... <clears throat> that enhancement that we picked up. The uh, obscurement thing. Ooh, good idea. Um, let's see. Anything else of interest here? Actually, let's buy all of these. I knew you couldn't resist. An excellent choice. There we go. Hmm. There's no real need to get to upgrade that thing yet again. Okay. <clears throat> now let's give that thing a, a try. It is just the same, very same effects. But better like but, it. Like, like I suspect the whatever is swimming there should be weak against lightning. <laughs> uh, let's hope. <clears throat> uh, let's pray it's not a giant undead electric eel. <laughs> uh oh. You to get the hell out. Is it safe? Oh. I thought it was being attacked. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, I think any humans that would be within a, a monster's reach would be long dead by now. Oh. More undead. Did I just say undead? <laughs> undead, not undead. Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that would be something. Just uh, zombies, but they constantly make uh, dad jokes. I would eat your brains if you had any. Okay, that was the. Uh, when I heard undead, that was not what I was thinking of. I was just thinking undead being a very mean way to say it to someone who lost a child. Mm, would be more the case if. Someone lost their father, but yeah, let's not go and yeah, let's not stick around on that much. Yeah. Oh, uh, holy! Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, just completely smite them. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It comes out a lot faster than the flails. Yeah, and I also remember something. I forgot to comment this about the aim should be accepted this job from. Did you notice what his weapon was? Yeah, a bell. So uh, you could say his job was to ring people's bells. Oh god, I, I, I can see 
if pro youtubers play this now i think i know when they will do the do forget to click the bell joke yeah. about him oh oh almost missed that in fact, your shrieking clearly acts as a lullaby. Yes. Sarcasm. Which of you is worse? I wonder. And is this just a new place or Okay, this is just a hidey hole or something? Where is this? Wait, are we back around or something? Yeah, we are back on, I think I think we're back on the other side, closer to the church. Um, hmm. I wonder what the heck that thing is. We only so far seen its the tail. Only seen the tail. Yeah, and we missed a good. Uh, we missed a better look at it here. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> One thing we know for certain is that it's going to be a boss. <laughs> okay, maybe you're right. Maybe it is tentacles. But did I just see an eye? Uh, more like some sort of inverse suckers, like some sort of uh, octopus <laughs> thing or something. Okay, this banner again, but now in red. Curious. Uh, okay, controller disconnected. Are the batteries going low or something? Okay, let's let's deal with these lot with this lot first. And then I'll change out the batteries. Come on. Oh, I hate my brain. Do you... Do you remember the policeman in a wheelchair in Family Guy? Uh, yeah. You're, you're imagining him here. Yeah, imagine he, 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 his voice coming out from the big guy's hair. Yep. Too early yet again. Uh, I know. I know, I've never really watched Family Guy. I've seen fragments of it, but I, I just don't find it funny. Yeah, I've seen some episodes. Like there has been some good ones, but many of them are just too much. Yeah. Like the, uh, the older ones seem a bit more tolerant, that okay to watch. Then you have some new ones that are okay, but then it has so many ones that just why. Yes, why? Controller. Uh, okay, that, that was, was a bit of a timing. Oh, come yeah, on. I was wondering why they close up. <laughs> come on. There we go. Okay. Tip for any game developers. If you have uh, controller support and controller connection is lost, go into pause. Or pause the game. Just, uh, okay. And this is why I always have four backups here. Wait, Israel, didn't they have that in the other two games? I think so. Yes, they forgot in this one. Hmm. Or it could also be because this game swaps a lot better between keyboards and controller, that it jumps to the uh, keyboard without uh, pause. Okay, connect. Yeah, there we go. And might as well put these here. Okay, back to kicking ass. Hold on. Hmm? Are these... Goo in tree wines? What? They look like ghouls, but with branches. Hmm. 
could be, and yeah, they're just going to keep spawning because of the necromancer up top. So yeah, we're just taking our lead. Actually, is there any? No, nope, we can't get into there. Okay, two ways. One obvious, one less so. Actually, an undead covered in plant life like that makes sense for. Well, uh... Oh, uh, hello there. Uh, boss, sudden boss fight. <laughs> Ow. Okay, tentacle swipe. What is that? I have no freaking idea. Eloska? Okay, four eyes, four targets. Oh, and we can make a run for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shut up. You're not the boss of me. Okay. Perhaps one could have changed since our last encounter. If that is one of the seven, then it's likely gluttony, but I find it a bit doubtful because the Yeah, the the amulet isn't reacting to it. Yeah. Nothing to say on the big ass blobfish next door. <laughs> blobfish? This really? Fun for both of us. As you okay. wish. Let's get another point. Uh, sure Alright, what I was supposed to say awesome. before... Uh, we got rude interrupted by Mr. Uh, per Tentacle Pervert. Not a particularly dusty <laughs> and then you get interrupted again. Have you learned nothing? Appearances can be deceiving. Besides, lust never appears as expected. What exactly did you mean by that? The notion of sin is one thing, the concept of lust is something else entirely. Especially humanity's concept of lust. I see. As in, a lust for... You name it. The humans have quite the imagination. Lust is everything to everyone. That's what makes lust dangerous. Too dangerous, mistress. No such thing. Hmm. Okay, so it is a bit uh, like slanish then. Like, it's more than just uh, kinky stuff. Yep. <laughs> All right. And but I, yeah, I, was noticed, saying... I, I don't think the, the I don't think the markers on the compass have really changed color. So it might just be that each sin has their own color with this. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, go on <laughs> before we get yeah, interrupted say, again. Not many may know this, but there are more plants than Venus flytraps that uh, that quote unquote eat animals. Many thorn bushes do too. Like mm -hmm. there are thorn bushes that wants sheep to get stuck in them and die in them, so the sheep decompose and bleeds out. The thorn bush we basically take nourishment for all the blood and rot that it has on it. Hmm. I think I've heard of that before, and this looks very much like an arena. Yeah, so when you think about zombies with full bushes on them, kind of makes sense. What I lust after in this broken world. What is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect. Just your head. Yeah, quick. Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. 
They aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fable whip. I am above your distractions, lost. Really, the truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Yo. Nope. Wait, what? Stand oh. down, Fury. Death. What are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. This is an illusion. The mission. The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we or is it? a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and hell working in secret consort to bring about the apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Charred Council has dispatched us together to wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked or... will be punished. Mm. You mean all of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. I'm and in unsure. honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause. The council is decreed that fake. you will lead <clears> the horsemen. <throat> you, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you. Set aside the past, sister. Today we live in service to you. Oh. I will be done. This is not real. Uh, what? Oh, it was worth a shot. <laughs> you think oh, come you on. know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them near! Okay, is th does that betray? I'm terribly generous. All skills. Wise up and take it. Was that <clears throat> a little bit of care for them showing through, or a little bit of respect at least? Also, Stripe looks freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, he is cool, but he does not sound like that. Well, what I know, Stripe. That uh, what we saw with Stripe here was definitely fake. 
Oh, that's not spi spi Stripe's uh, personality at all. Hello. An archangel. Oh, you seal, you flatter. I'll see you dead, lust. Never to rise again. <laughs> we had a deal. Stand down. Now, why would he do that? When he knows a deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me. Listen. I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Ocille! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? Ah, shut up! And restore truth <laughs> to that befouled place. Your truth, Archangel Ocille. Your command. Don't turn this into a three-way. The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal. Oh, come on. No, Ocil! <laughs> Won't this be fun? Come on. <laughs> You've got to be smarter than that. Go Apparently not. You'd think an archangel would be smarter, but then again, we've we've seen how many of them fall already to uh, temptation. Yeah, the uh, suspect is if you defeat Lost before you shall, he might be free. I have to say, I I like this design of Lost. It it doesn't it it, it completely avoids the uh, yeah the stereotype. But they, uh, they did go a slight slash approach, but still unique anyway. And like, I, I like that they're also androgynous. Oh yeah, hmm? just less than Ash. Do a bit more flamboyant. Who gave you the power to raise the dead? <laughs> the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn. A feeling you know all too well. Fury. The angels who killed your steel. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me. And I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. <laughs> and why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is uh -oh. the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. Problem is... <gasps> we already got them. But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. Yeah, we, we already got her, don't we? Yeah. Unless that's a line they actually forgot to change. Hmm. I'll have to check the item That's description a bit. You were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Now, what about the angel? Finish it. I think not. Mistress! Mm. Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. 
Usil's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight. But my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy shown to a filthy angel? Just as soon have your head on a pike. Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think that's what I'm here to find out. Here we go again. I was going to say, the Watcher's wings are kind of cute. Uh-oh. Helian, you, you you really think you have a chance with her? Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't even Good. want to if I could. Oh, we know what happened with the other times we tried. With each new challenge, you show more death. What do you want? Both you and I are painfully aware of the endless parade history inflicts upon us. Creatures so pathetically focused on one single purpose. But these creatures are, ironically, completely devoid of meaning. Make your point, Lord of Hollows. It's just surprising, no, refreshing, to see something headed in the opposite direction. You are coming into a greater awareness of the flaws that kept you in chains. Flaws? Shall I list them? No, thank you. I've seen enough recently to know they are many. Which is exactly why I give you this. And by holding it, the raw power of force itself is here. Oh great, now she's a Jedi. Vibrates in my hand. I don't understand. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know when and how. Wait, what? Okay. So now we have the ability to break those purple walls by ourselves, I presume. And taking a bit of a time to load again. But yeah, I'm, I've definitely... This, the, <clears throat> the camera like this definitely is a big no, because yeah... <laughs> The complete lack of mouse movements is annoying. Yeah, and I can say that I think force is earth element. For everything purpose has been some form of mineral. Oh, the achievement. I want a rock. <laughs> well, that confirms it. <laughs> and since there's no purple button, they go for the green button instead. Okay, I can say this. It's unusual for an element of earth to be, well, what do you have to say? Yeah, nothing to say about the newest hair. hair <laughs> yeah, nothing to say about the newest hair dye job. This will be fun for the as you wish. Uh, do make sure Shut up, Volgrim, and why is the FPS tanking now? Something start up or something. Let's see. Uh. CPU 100%, Dark Side is 25%, VC Phase 17, OBS 15. Uh, what is the hell is all the rest then? 25, 16. Da, 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 da. 
Okay. I'm, I'll have to look more at that later. For now, though... Okay, back to normal. Ish. Yep. <laughs> of course, a big-ass fucking hammer. I could get very used to this level of power. <laughs> right, we, we have to show what's the hammer's name. Yep, wait. Tran into a force ball? Really? We're going full Metroid here? <laughs> this is not exactly sort of. The I had in mind. Beggar horsemen cannot be choosers. Yep. Oh God. Uh, mallet of scorn. <laughs> the force halo allows the collection and precise focusing of energy into concentrated attacks. With uh, with scorn taking on the appearance of a giant hammer, fury can shatter her enemies' defenses and inflict severe damage. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, an armor slash defense breaker. Is this good? For we've been facing foes that may be in need of that. Yeah, that are annoyingly blocking. The Lord of Hollows will never be accused of sighting. Time to find the next sin. Are you certain? I'm just asking. Seems to me you might be going a little soft. If you truly want to see how I have stopped, yep. question my resolve again. Okay, okay. Again, it's getting a bit more stuttery here and there. For me, it looks a bit more better now. And that was Discord also cramping up a bit. It doesn't seem to be liking this four stuff or actually no now it's back to normal what the hell the hell was going on then good question okay, okay. I'm, let's see task manager processes what the hell is acting up as well we have the big three up here uh, darksiders vc face obs uh, steam and discord desktop window manager system like I'm just, I'm going to have to keep a bit of an eye on that to see if anything else pops up unwanted. All I'm saying is, there's been a change. It's natural, I think, after all you've been exposed to here. What do you mean? Need I remind you, there is no absolute good, nor is there absolute evil in the universe. Those are human concepts. The Chard Council is aware of this. It's the very reason for their continued existence. Ugh, the way you blather on. What are you trying to say? Heaven and hell are not absolutes either. Seen with the proper perspective, they are simply two opposing forces scrambling to gain power over this sad ball of mud. It is the way of all things. Precisely. But why would they be so focused on this rock and its teeming bacteria when there is an entire cosmos to explore and to conquer? Good point, actually. Hmm. Then again, at the very start of uh, of the first Darksiders, it was said that uh, if left to grow long enough, uh, the Kingdom of Man could provide a tipping point in the battle between Heaven and Hell. Or perhaps even best both of them. Yeah, and humanity seems to have shown a more big favor to the angelic side, even though they have been very... Yeah, we, we know humanity. There we go. Hmm. Yes, by keeping them occupied with this miserable conflict, the greater universe has a chance to remain pure. That is a curious method for seeking balance, especially for being so powerful. Yes, very curious. So I'm just saying, if you I understand. Why is it just dipping here and there it hasn't before like is there something about oh, this okay i didn't know 
Okay. The hell is this? Performance. The CPU has been maxed out entirely so far since this game started, but the GPU has only been a. Uh, I mean, the graphics card has only been around 70%. Hmm. Then maybe I need to clean up uh, clean out my yeah, CPU then. Clean up. Hmm. On dust? And yeah, the, the watcher has an interesting point. Keeping both heaven and hell busy here. So that uh, yeah, everywhere else is easier to uh, balance, so to speak. Basically, sticking sticking both uh, problems inside of a jar and shaking it up, so that uh, yeah, it, it doesn't mess, it doesn't spill out everywhere else. Possibly. And again. Yeah, I, I definitely need to look at the, what the hell is going on. To me, it doesn't look, I'm not look any... uh, like you at, at all on my end. Okay, just what the fuck is going on? Why the hell is this happening now? I'm not seeing any... What is this desktop Windows manager? Window manager? It's using up quite a bit. Uh, actually... Actually, not that much, only 3%, but it is jumping up a lot. Hmm. Actually, let's take a bit of a... Hmm. Let me just double check this. Let's see. Resource values, no. Uh, go to details. And set this priority to real time. That should make this the highest priority of everything else on the computer. And should stop that. Just freaking die already, you. And your air support. Woo. Okay. Okay, that... Oh, come on! Ugh, okay, yeah, the, the ranged attackers, especially flying ones, are just freaking annoying. At least you have uh, something to hit them with now. Yep. Somewhat easier. Hmm. Oh, well. The blue sin. Who is that going to be then? Or actually, no. We have no blue is pride. Blue is pride. So we actually need oh, to move around more. Try not to scream like a child. Not to die. Anything hidden here? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised we got earth power for. Because the area was really speaking us to get water power. Yeah, or poison. Yep. Alright, there's no need for that in midair. Uh let's check over here. I can see a I could see a tentacle waving behind this. Oh dear. Right. What in the element of Earth is purple? Like is this supposed to be geode or something? <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Love tap. <laughs> Wait, the, 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 the yes. talisman... The talisman wasn't reacting to it earlier. What? Okay. Yeah. Get the feeling there oh, might have I... been a few writing mistakes here and there. Then, with how en <laughs> how with how Lost was trying to sell out Envy, the first one which we got. Like, uh, let's double check that. Uh, actually, no, it's right here. Yeah, Talisman of Sin, an element taken from Envy. So yeah, Lost had nothing to sell us. 
he was right that she was the weakest at all. And he may have... Uh, actually, I don't think he may have known she was already taken out. And again, a stutter there. I have no, I have no idea what the hell is going on with that and even more. Hmm. But seriously, what sort of bargaining chip is that? To sell out the weakest of you? Or, uh, Almost of easy prey, perhaps, but... Whatever you said there, I didn't hear it. Um, I hmm. said promise of weak with the, of an easy prey. Hmm. But promising easy prey for fury sounds more like an insult. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that is going to open from the other side, likely. Not yet, though. Oh, almost missed that. Um, lost, Envy. We still need to get Wrath and Pride and Gluttony. Or Excess. It's also likely to be a Excess. Could also mix over with uh, Avarice a lot. Yeah, but um, yeah, I know we we defeated him, but we did not catch him unless we only we, unless we missed. We didn't notice we catched him or not. Yeah, we didn't. We we, we didn't exactly beat him. We, it's more we got away from him. Uh, because that was it. when the that was when the the Hollow King. Uh, pulled us away. Yeah, dude. I suspect he's gonna be having quite a lot of face issues after what you did to him. <laughs> yeah. Yep, bring the hammer down. Oh, come on, he dodged that. Uh, that. And another of you. Uh, double check, we've got Sloth, we've got Envy, we've got Lust, we've got Greed, we know of Pride, we know of uh, Wrath, so yeah, only only one remains undiscovered, and it's likely going to be, yeah, Gluttony, or another wording of that. Hmm. All right. Oh god, so you just had an interesting concept. It, imagine we still had the horsemen of famine. Famine versus gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, get out of that. That's seriously. What is causing these stutters? It's not only it's it's on my computer somewhere. Because it's affecting both the game and Discord. And thank you for that notification, danger notification. Yeah, I'm not seeing it's not on my end here. Okay, now somewhat. Let's deal with you. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll, I'll see about cleaning out my computer extra good then. Or maybe I need to upgrade my CPU. I'm not even sure if I really could upgrade it because this this computer was uh, custom built with water coolant system and I have no idea how to get that out. Or To be honest, I don't even want to risk removing a water coolant system or water cooled system, you know, for the risk of just, yeah, leaking stuff over the rest of the components. Yeah. Maybe you need to do some research. Yeah. 
and hopefully the, if we're lucky, it, it, this might be the only time it does this. Hopefully. It, it isn't an issue with hmm. space on my uh, computer, because there is still uh, yeah, enough room to keep this stream going for a, a full day before it, it fills up. Uh, where actually do we need to bring this thing? So we're shoving it around, but we don't really know why. I oh, over there, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so we want it. Ain't many yields per purple. Um, amethyst is yeah, and that's found in yeah, uh, in geodes. So perhaps that's why she's purple instead of traditional green or brown or gray for Earth. True. A bit? Okay, I will give them points for that, for being a bit original with the Earth element. It says, yeah. purple is usually arcane? Yeah, it's less It's less specifically Earth and more, yeah, force. And, yeah, rocks can be very forceful. It, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a, a vaguer one. Yeah. Okay, we got 16,000 souls. The lurchers, but uh, uh, once again, they basically function the same as souls in the previous they games. They look the same. They look the same, they behave the same. Why they change the name is beyond us. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go after our little fish. Yep. Yeah, uh oh. The Hmm. Uh, should I prepare with some wasabi and soy? <laughs> uh, maybe make it extra strong. All right, I will bring out uh, some extra sp strong booze as well. You might be, you want to be drunk enough to eat it. Uh, speaking of booze, that uh, streamer that I linked uh, uh, yesterday, or was it earlier today? I. Forget. I think it was early today. Was it Viking Beard or something? Viking Blonde? Uh, something like that. Yeah, uh, that... This one. Oh, oh, hello. I guess we should have... Could have expected this. Uh, but yeah, yeah, during that... During his latest stream, yeah, people got to talking about uh, wine and uh, other alcoholic drinks. And out of curiosity, I went looking around. And apparently there is a company in the Netherlands... Uh, that actually sells, spe uh, specifically sells meads and such. Uh, <laughs> the name I, I find especially funny. Uh, heathen, uh, uh, heathen mead. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and they also sell drinking horns. Okay, I don't know how prove off. <laughs> okay. What are we going to find here? Actually, we can't fight Wait. while swimming. Are those? Haven't seen these ones before. I'm pretty sure we've had, uh, we've seen these things harass death at the very least. Oh dear! Kind of nice that they reuse some assets that make sense to reuse. True. What have we here then? Because this thing over here is very, very obviously some sort of landmine. <laughs> Case in point. Yeah. And also, I think, do you want to think about the, her new element? I think it is Earth element, to the Earth element it focused on in Earth aspect is probably minerals like geos, amethyst, and gravity. Yeah, magnetism also a bit. Yeah, it's a Okay, with that one dealt with. Okay. Mm, typically this sort of thing would have popped up as soon as we got this thing, but oh well. Yeah, we're going back into the old... Oh. 
Okay. Uh, this is just. Loading. I thought, thought to wonder if the open worldness have uh, more issues than the last game. Uh, game, are you? Did it just crash? Let's have a check. Task manager. Uh, the fuck? Uh, that app hits the f hell? Okay, pro. Oh, no, th there we go. I still very much okay. doubt that that was a sin because the, the amulet didn't seem to react to it. Hmm. Okay. Again. The, the watcher is up to something. What would you ask? This will be fun. Yeah, early on, she felt like guy. maybe she is not a bad guy, but now it starts to feel like, okay, there's something going on. She knows something. Hmm. Uh, what the heck? Do we have enough? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we definitely have enough. Um, oh, let's see. We good. need about 14. Uh, there we go. Greetings. Take your time. And then we get this. Mostly I want just want to complete the set of purple with purple. Okay. And then here. Okay, this looks, this looks looks oh, good. Okay, that yeah, that does look good. Even though it's just a different color from the other ones. True. Uh, let's double check. I overlooked this. Let's see. Oh, okay. We, I didn't. I didn't notice that, uh, or I'd forgotten that these have little bits of text written. Even light is distorted by the force emanating from this elemental armor as it enhances force attacks. Yeah, that gives a lot more of a gravity feel. Lightning crackles on the surface of this elemental armor as it is channeled into storm attacks. And wreathed in flames, this elemental armor increases the potency of flame attacks. It's actually not. Yeah, yeah, wreaths and flames. It's more a, a partial recolor, but yeah. Okay, the depths. Oh wait, maybe this is not gravity. This just might be just you turn heavier. That as well. It's also a common thing with uh, rock and elemental stuff. Uh, uh, um. Yes, I saw them. No. Are we about to meet uh, a not dead great old one? Ooh, ooh, you are quick on their water. Of course they are there. They, they live here. Hey, Helion, uh, I recognize these. Uh, Dagonites or something, I'm guessing, or straight up Cthulhu. Oh, I think this, uh, they, oh, I think they may be star spawn or inspired by star spawn. But that I mean, Cthulhu is a giant star spawn. It's what his species called, otherwise. Okay, and I very much doubt that we can light those torches. <laughs> so basically. Um, yeah, first time we stood before one of these things was as a boss in the second game. Yeah. And then it was some, uh, some thing leeching off of the dead. And now we have the ones that are not dead. Yep. Oh okay. dear. Let's check. Oh, got freaking landmines, like, not landmines, sea mines. And okay, I can hear that thing coming. Okay. Um, I 
get the feeling we want to port that. Why would we want? Let's <laughs> swim right into that one. Uh, where do we want to move that block? Hmm. Uh, your apartment? I think it would look great on your shelf. Yeah, my, my shelves are falling up as is. <laughs> so actually, you? consider how big it is. Oh, you could put more into it. And then gets moved, whacked around by, <laughs> by Fury, you know, getting pissy with a puzzle or something. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Was I? And we forgot to check. So. Actually, let's see. Where, where can we actually? Oh, we can see them here, of course. Uh, let's see, Azazel, five percent wrath gen generated per hit with his weapon. A six amount of wrath bar generated. Okay. Do you serve the Dark Prince? Hmm. And then there's this one that we forgot to check. Oh, Havoc. Okay. Do I run or do I f face my true nature? Hmm. It, these two are good. We, we do, yeah, we, knew, we need these. Let's see. Some attacks knock back targets. Charge attack is imbued. Some attacks blast out lightning. Some attacks ignite. Hmm. Let's see. Well, like I said, it would be nice for us to use the havoc and the rough forms a bit more. True. And for now, I think I'll just slap these on one each. <clears throat> I think we can probably swap to Storm as a main or as a more main damage dealer. I imagine uh, many things he would not like being struck by lightning. <laughs> true. Um hmm. so, question is, should you really be playing with lightning underwater? <laughs> nope. Okay. These things definitely should not be playing with a horseman, though. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Knock, knock. And is this actually opening up somewhere or just a shortcut? Oh. Yeah, I think this is area is new for me. Uh, these were not here before. Wait, yep. before, wait. Before what I was saying. <laughs> we haven't been here before. Yeah, exactly. And, oh. Watch out for Squidward. Let's see. Oop. Okay, easy enough. Oh, come bother. on! They are weak! Yeah, they are just fish. Okay, let's follow the compass to see where we need to go, because... Yeah, we've got a lot of room to cover in this place. Oh, thank you. I don't wonder... Who is the publisher of this game and developer? Uh, THQ, um, fine. Alright. Uh, THQ does have a good reputation, don't they? Uh, reasonable, yes. Yeah, um, but I'm trying to, trying to really wonder if its developers have been stronger with the engine or what for... Uh, uh, we throw out the window. It's probably not like, like Bioware and EA where some developers there are forced to use EA's programs mm. for things that was not designed for. Okay, we need to find one of the glowing swords somewhere. Hmm. And we have a lot of area to cover where it could potentially be hidden. Like, oh, did you? Yes. Oh, we found something. 
Yeah, we need to find that blade somewhere, but... Hmm. Maybe we'll tips on where it could be hidden. Yeah, Already been here because we picked it up. You can must have some use check again. Yep. Still odd that it's been absent for most of the gameplay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well... Actually, no, that, that won't work. I was thinking for a moment that we might have to drain this place out to get this open, but no, that's filled in with rubble. So that's not going to happen. Let's see. Is there any opening here that we can get You've through? Been thunderstruck. Yeah, I'm not going to sing it out, people, due to I don't want to make anyone deaf or make yeah. it noise complaints. <laughs> Discord didn't want to hear you sing either because it completely interrupted what you did there. I just said thunderstruck. Hmm. Let's you check know, around the, the surface first. Yeah, I know. We uh, did that wait. joke when we got this power. Yeah, do I try to remember? Wait. Who sings this song? Uh, ACDC. Oh. I should probably listen to some of the old classics sometimes oh. again. I know there's some songs I like from them. And there we go. Yeah, people, I, I, I'm the person that. If it sounds good, I will like it. The only music I'm not keen on is most techno music. Especially the ones that are extremely lot of bass. Something with me and the massive bass music just does not play well with my ears. Okay. Like, I, I like drums, but most bass music are not drum bass. Okay, big stutter there. Yeah, I, I definitely need to clean out, uh, clean my CPU after this. And also something I was going to say, um, if you know, if I upgrade any parts in my current computer, I might have to do it have have it installed by professionals, or maybe uh, I could just buy a completely new PC to start with. Oh, what is this one? Uh, not sure, actually. I think between five and ten years or so. I'd have to check when the uh, 2070 Super card came out. Ten years? Yeah, I doubt... I don't know how long. I, that's less than ten because I've had a previous one here, I think. Yeah, definitely not ten, but a good amount of years at the very least. Yeah, might just miss some upgrade or yeah, either upgrade or entire new PC, depending on how much uh, parts are uh, extremely outdated. Uh, more stuttering. Yep. Okay, let's just deal with this and then end the stream. Hope that whatever I managed to clean out stops this from happening next time because we're almost at two hours. Actually, before you do that, investigate if that it is the game. Inve investigate what? The, if it, the game stutters on my end, everything stutters on my end. So it is oh. most likely the game. Because I, I can look over on the left and I see that OBS, uh, the footage stutters as well. Yeah. Freaking archers. Those archers are never going to be anything but an absolute nuisance. And actually, let me try something here. Nope, we can't do that. Okay, we've got a crawl space and we've got a button that is going to open that up, I presume. Actually, it doesn't. It's stuck. Okay. No, it... I can hear something moving. Up oh, there. up there. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, might as well. Yeah. Or is that that's out of reach? Okay. Uh hmm. Yeah. Anyways, we were going to stop because we've just hit 10. Or 10 p.m. Uh, wrong button yet again. And then, yeah. Okay. So for the fifth time already now, I'm going to have to clean out, uh, clean up my uh, CPU to see if that helps any with whatever is causing this. It doesn't seem to be a, a software thing. Hmm. Just oh, hope well. you're able to fix it and not make things worse. Yeah. Uh, the PC just need uh, could it use a good clean out every now and then. And yeah, we can definitely say that VC face with my old camera at the top of the screen is a complete failure. Uh, but not, not a complete failure, but yeah, I, I look like a I look like I have no freaking mouse with how it's just not picking up any of that. Yeah, wait. What if it that does the camera is the problem? Hmm. Could For... be. The other one is still connected as well, but it it's only a small thing, really. It's a reasonably old one, so I, I hope no, it, it might not be... be taking up that much. It could be struggling with the program. Hmm. Because it has a chain reaction. No, I the, the movements that I see on OBS have been smooth so far, so... Um, well, like, yeah, uh, either it way, is the one it, causing it, the stutter. Yeah, I, I find that doubtful. It is the one big change, or not even a big change, it's a small change. But yeah, we're, we're ditching it anyways after this, so that's not going to be an effect any further. So if it is the cause of this, then good riddance, doubly so. Yeah. Okay, but for now then, uh, more Monkey Island on Saturday. And, and yes, um, <clears throat> Showcase Sunday, I already have some things prepared. A uh, bit of a spoiler, there will be more Warhammer, <laughs> uh, just like last week. And yeah, with Monkey Island, I'm not going to screw around with moving the the footage around in the wind in this overlay window because then I'd have to move around the uh, sidebars that I made as a lot as well and uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be lazy with that and keep it as is oh dear yes yeah, there's, there's nothing that gets hidden by with that anyway since I made it fit <clears throat> uh, vertically and and yeah, the, the footage isn't wide enough to be stretched out. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now, uh, who may have been watching now or later. And thank you especially, as always, to Kier. It's welcome, my friend. And yeah, I already spelled out what will be coming next. And yeah, next week we'll be continuing with Darksiders, hopefully without the freaking stutters and with, with, my, you know, with the better face tracking. So, yeah. yeah. Um, anything else? Yeah. I don't have anything else uh, to say. I'm just damn curious what the story is going for. There's mystery going on. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. But for now, again, thanks for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks.